All right, guys, let's go do a science experiment with Zeke. What is going on in there? Zeke, are you okay? Oh, what in the world? What's wrong? I, I think I caught the zompocalypse. The zompocalypse? I, what cures it? I don't know, everything's so tender. Oh. The only thing that can stop me is a flaming standing sound wave of science. Oh wait, that's what this is for. No. This is my friend Zeke here, and we are gonna make a Rubens tube for you today, or as you like to call it, a flaming sound wave. So what we're gonna need for this science experiment is some type of drill. You're gonna need a drill bit, tape, cement for the PVC pipes, caps, different sizes, whatever's gonna fit the PVC pipe you have, fittings, tape measure, permanent marker. You're gonna need some gas line, safety goggles of course, some type of speaker, old computer, or a powered one. Propane, either this kind or the kind for the little torches. And you're gonna need some type of rubber, like a balloon or a latex glove. So the first thing you need to do is drill your holes into the PVC pipe, and they need to be about one inch apart. First thing you need to do is find a spot about eight inches from the end of the pipe, and then begin marking every inch. Let's do it! All right guys, now we're gonna hook up all the pieces we need for the end of the pipe here to pipe the propane through. We're gonna start with our end cap. We need to be able to have a spot for the gas to come through. We're using all quarter inch fittings here. So on the drill, put a spade bit that's a quarter inch. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean out this area just so we have a nice tight fitting. Make sure our piping is gonna fit in. And once we put a hurt on it, I'm sure it will. Front. <laughs> this is much more quality work than I normally do. Okay, so now we have that sitting out in the sun so that that super glue can cure to it. And now we're going to put the hose onto the regulator. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these screw-on clamps here. Make sure you put both of them on the pipe first <laughs> so we don't have to undo the whole thing. This is actually some old surgical tubing. It's uh, rated for a decent pressure and this end comes with a nice tight fitting. You basically want your propane tank a little further away from your open flame here just in case something would happen. And you want a nice snug fitting. To ensure that we have that fitting, <clears throat> that's why we have our screw clamps. On the other end, we have one of these hose uh, adapter repair kits. So we're gonna shove that inside as far as we can and then once again, that's going to take a screw clamp to hold it on tight. Now to be able to adapt and to snap in place to the, uh, the end cap, we have another piece that needs to be screwed together. And this is going to air snap into that other one. You screw these together. Once you have a nice tight seal, here's our final gas line. Now we're going to set up the other end of the PVC pipe so that we can put our speaker up to it to create the, the flame awesomeness. So a speaker has a cone of some type of material that vibrates in and out and that pushes air which causes the sound waves which we hear. Now unfortunately our speakers are not going to create the most even pressure wave so what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a type of drum for the end of the pipe. So you have a cylinder with some type of skin on top. What this will do is when the sound wave from the speaker causes this membrane of this drum to go back and forth, it's going to create an even pressure wave through the tube. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this reducer and put it over the pipe. We don't want to push too tight at this point. We don't want to tear the glove. That glove should provide us with a good enough seal to hold any gas in. All right, the glue has cured on this, and now we're gonna attach it to the pipe so we can pipe in the gas. We need our PVC cement, and it actually chemically bonds the PVC together. Put a nice coating on the inside, nice coating on the outside. Count to five, one, two, three, four, five. Push and twist. All the way in. And there we go. In about five minutes, this is going to be ready to go. 
We already have our hose completely connected. It's semi-safe, which is good enough for me. We're gonna light this baby up. Woo -woo! Dance party. Woo -woo! All that's left to do now on this end, since the PVC cement is cured, is to pull back, insert, and we have a lock. All right guys, now we've got everything connected. We have our speaker here that we're gonna put on this end here, and we're gonna push some music through. We have some sine waves that we wanna push through, and we're gonna see what kind of waves the flame makes. Are y'all ready for this? Make sure to thumbs up if you wanna see some cool stuff. All right, let's not die. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh yes. Beautiful! Yes! Nice! Good job! Awesome. Hey, hey, Lane, look, our voices are actually... Oh, wow! ...triggering the waves. Oh. You see it? Yep. Oh. That's cool! It's like our pipe is burning. Yeah, pipe is burning. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, eh? Burning the pipe, burning the pipe. We are burning. We are flame on. Oop. Now let's pipe in some music. Twenty one fourteen hertz sine wave. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> and a thousand. It's coming out the bottom. <laughs> We're on fire! Woo! Yeah, that's how we like to end. Woo! Woo! Like to end. Call yeah. my ambulance. How did that go? Yeah, I think we had some successes. We had some failures. <laughs> and so we do. And we have some burn stuff. <laughs> This is how we do the lane vids. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Back in the early 1900s, a guy named Heinrich Rubin decided that he wanted a way to visualize sound waves. The oscilloscope hadn't been invented yet, mm -hmm. computer screens, nothing. He knew about pressure, he knew about gases, and he must have known about fire. Probably better than what we did. <laughs> and he used sound to be able to generate a standing wave of flame. And if you can look back on the video and you see where there's the peaks, we could actually measure from peak to peak and that would actually tell us the frequency of the different sound waves. Don't try this at home, kids. Yes, don't try this at home. Next time we do this, we're gonna try with a metal pipe. Yeah, I think um, that's where our failure was. Yes, That we yes. used the PVC. And definitely work better with the smaller uh, drill bit holes, the, uh, the mm -hmm. 7 16 mm -hmm. uh, then the 1 8 and right. built more pressure. And having them a little further apart would probably keep from the holes melting. The melting. It's a little hot, chat. It's a little hot. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We had fun making it. Always a good time whenever we get together with this crazy guy. If you guys want more videos from us, make sure to click that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate that. And always a good old thumbs up. If you want to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, those are down below in the description. 
Oh, and if you want to buy some of the stuff to make your own parts, there's a link down in the description below to Amazon where you can go and buy some of these parts. If you guys want to see some behind the scenes of the Rubens tube, make sure to click that button right over there or there's a link down below. Thank you guys for watching and thanks for being shiggity shank. All right, guys, in a previous Would You Rather, I asked you guys, would you rather swim in freezing water or swim in a warm pool where kids have been peeing? This was from the Lava Lamp short version video, and the winner is swim in freezing water. Apparently, you guys don't know that fresh urine is cleaner than both spit and skin because healthy urine doesn't have bacteria in it. This week's Would You Rather, would you rather lick a dirty pig until it's clean or eat five live beetles. Click the pictures there to cast your vote. I will tally them all up. Whenever you click the pictures, what it'll do is take you to our channel page. You can watch more of our videos. If you wanna watch the behind the scenes of this video, click the video playing right there in the middle. If you wanna go and get some parts to do this science experiments on Amazon, you can click that link up top there or down below in the description. Click subscribe if you want more videos from us. Thanks for watching and being shiggity shank.